hi and welcome to my channel A Country Life. I am joining up with Mommy and Mia Chronicles on this Crock-Pot Instapot collaboration. I'm Jennifer and in case you're new here, I am married to a cranberry farmer. We have seven kids, we homeschool and I like to film things about our day, how we have learned to work together and are still learning to work together as a family. I will have the links to Mommy and Mia Chronicles in the description box and I'll also have the playlist in there. I'm just gonna slip on my apron here. Ooh, I've got little kids running through. I'm gonna be making uh, chicken fajitas in the crock pot. So this is a really simple uh, recipe. It doesn't include a whole lot of ingredients. Let's start with the chicken. I have a really big pack here. It's seven pounds of chicken. I'm only gonna use about three and a half pounds of this. And then the other three and a half pounds, I actually have plans to do, um, to do another crock pot meal. Over here are the ingredients. Three colors of peppers. I found any any colors really work. I've, I've done like two green and a red or whatnot. A nice big onion, a can of Rotel, just tomatoes and, with green chilies. I've got a little one hugging me. And I want to help. <laughs> you want to help. We've got kidney beans, salt, Mommy. cumin, chili powder, and Mom, minced this. garlic. Mom, and so this. really, oh, just a second. Shh, shh. All those ingredients are gonna get going at once, and then I'm going to cook it. So I'm gonna take a minute and slice up these green peppers and onions, and then take the skin off of those chicken breasts, and then as soon as I do that, I'll pop back in again just to show how I layer it up in the crock pot. Um, you wanna peel the onion? Yeah, and cut. Okay. You can peel the onion, yes. You go by the garbage and peel that. put in the other ingredients, don't you think? But can I put in these ingredients? Uh-huh. I'm surprised you're cutting that. I could even cut it yourself. You want to eat one? No? put a little bit more chicken in than I thought I was going to. This is probably um, very close to four pounds instead of about three and a half that I thought I'd be doing. I just put them in whole like that. Maria, do you want to put the peppers in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I think you're gonna have to take them in big handfuls, honey. Don't you think? Well, I can just do this. Nice. And the onion I'm just going to cut into rings. It'll go a lot faster to slice that way and then it'll still soften up nicely. Two teaspoons of cumin. Kind of hard to do one-handed here. Two teaspoons. Take the lid off of that one. Two teaspoons of chili powder. So that means two of those. This and then this. Uh huh. A fourth teaspoon salt. So I'll I'll just put in some salt there quick. Sprinkle it around. Perfect. One teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. That's a pretty big scoop, but that's all right. Well, this is really strong. <laughs> it's what? What's strong? Is it the garlic or the onions? And the onions. Both of them, huh? Ooh. <laughs> I drained the kidney beans. I didn't rinse just to save a little time. Now the can of tomatoes. And if you don't like things too spicy, 
You can just put in regular tomatoes too, just a can of diced tomatoes without the green chilies. I like this recipe just because you can really kind of adapt it, really as much chicken as you want. More peppers, less peppers, a little spicier, um, more garlic, less garlic. It's just really adaptable. This is just kind of a base recipe. Just kind of, whoop, don't play with my hair by the food. Um, rather than the kidney beans, you could put in chili beans. That would make it a little bit spicier too. I like to cook things where if I don't have the exact ingredient, I can just replace it with something else and still get the same, still get the same basic taste. I'm going to put the lid on. I used to always use low, but I've been experimenting with the high setting. Um, and it actually, it, this is going to cook up fast, probably in about four hours. I'm going to leave the lid on the whole time. Um, and just let everything cook down until it's nice and soft and the juices run clear on the chicken and then I'll just take I'll fish the chicken out put it on a little pan shred it up put it back in there and then we will serve this on tortillas or even I'll probably put it on a bed of lettuce um, with sour cream I might dice up some black olives too so really anything Mexican that you like really tastes good to add on to this and this is a good base recipe, like I said, it can also be done with beef or what I do is um, I've done it with venison before. While the chicken is cooking in the crock pot, um, lots of other things are happening in the house. And I'm just going to do some laundry. I was just taking these towels out and then I'm going to fold these up. got Sam here he's working on what are you working on today easy grammar. easy grammar he's doing possessive nouns and then we've got the girls out here they hey. are doing Screen Christmas, Christmas lights, lights. Oh, yeah. how's it going for you all good so actually. far it's actually going really well I heard some yelling before That's because we're yelling, we're yelling at those, at those. Yeah. Yeah. At those? what are those at Peter and Maria what are those? <laughs> they are having a hard time getting the pumpkins into the woods. Hey, Maria. Hi. Nice flannel. Where are your arms? Right here. Right inside. Hi, Joe. Right here. How are you? Good. Good? I play sports. You play sports? Yeah. Yes. So you're trying to get that pumpkin? Yeah, we're trying to pick this up and throw it in, but it's way too wet. How about that? Now this one, can we just kick it over? No. Oh, it's really squishy. Yeah, it's wet. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, how about a stick? Can we get this stick? Don't you need a big one? I don't know. Let's see if we can try to... Oh, that is not going to do it, is it? Oh. Yeah, this doesn't work so well with fancy boots on right now. A camera. I found oh, you got a great one. Okay. It's chilly out here today. Okay, there you go. Now use your foot too and kind of kick it and push it. Oh, wow. That is a big pumpkin. Just this is so wet. Yeah, you got, you have nice boots on though. You should be able to kick it. Right? I can not kick it. You can't? No, oh, all together. <laughs> oh, look at the bottom. Yeah. Moldy. <laughs> okay, okay guys, back up. I'm trying to lift it in like that. <laughs> Try to kick it again. Oh. Disgusting. Oh, look at the skin slid off. We we got lights. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, oh my gosh, the prickers are getting me. That'll be fine like this. Okay, that's good. It's hard At least it's out of the grass. Yeah, it's out of the grass. Yeah, it's like far enough in. Okay. Alright. I don't know how 
need you to crimp that stuff. Okay, I'm going in. Now we're going to need extension cord. Christmas lights. Yes. And then just chuck extension cord today. So. There's a lawnmower or something. Yeah, I know. It wasn't me. <laughs> not me. Sam. Okay. Hey, it was not me. You mowed the lawn more than I did. Okay, an announcer's voice. Uh, in between the RS. Uh-huh. Women's luncheon. Uh, in between the NS. And why? Because it's plural. Because women is already plural, right? Yeah. Okay, a cook's convention. Uh, after the S. Uh-huh. And several owners' store. After the S. After the S, because it belongs to multiple owners. So, Mommy, I love you. I love you too, Maria. I am going to come there in just a second. So it has been about four and a half hours, and this is what my chicken fajita mixture looks like. All the veggies are nice and soft. The chicken met topped the thermometer at 180, and it was still rising. So everything is nicely cooked. I am just going to shred things up, and then I'm going to make a big pile of white rice. What are you doing over there? Are you slurping your hot chocolate? Yeah, I am. <laughs> and then um, black olives and all the other fixings. So that's it. Crock pot chicken fajitas. Mommy. Just a second, okay? I'm going to finish this off, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the playlist in the description box. That will take you to all the rest of the crock pot and Instapot recipes. Subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up if you like cooking videos. <laughs> Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. And in the no time, I just built a lot of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>